everyone and welcome to NameHero.com. In today's video tutorial, I'm going to talk about how to change your WordPress admin username. So at NameHero, we host quite a bit of WordPress websites and the number one concern that we, security concern that we see amongst them is whenever someone uses a username admin, um, it's a very, very bad choice. And that's because every single, virtually every single WordPress website that's uploaded is a target to be exploited. And that's because most all WordPress websites, they have the same path to, to their WP admin. You know, you go to your website.com slash WP dash admin, and there's your login. And so hackers or attackers or whatever you want to call them, they know this. And so if they find out and they use bots and all kinds of different crawl tools, uh, to, to discover WordPress websites, and they're automatically going to try the username admin first. If that, and they're going to use a password, a dictionary based password attack to try to get into um, the admin interface. And they do this for a variety of reasons. You know, some attackers, you know, they want to gain access to your website to distribute malware. Some of them just want to deface your website. Some of them want to gain access to your uh, public HTML so they can upload malicious files. We've seen crypto rigs. Um, of course, spamming is always a big one too. So there's all kinds of reasons why they want to get into your WordPress admin area. And also they don't discriminate. It's not because you have a certain type of website or whatnot. Um, pretty much any WordPress website out there is a target. Um, and mostly because WordPress is free and open source and widely used. Since it is free and open source, that means everyone can have access to the source code. It's not encrypted or hidden. And the community, that's what's grown the community, but the kind of double-edged sword is it allows the bad guys and gals out there to actually see the source code and look for ways to get in, look for ways to penetrate it. And that's why WordPress does so many updates as, as often as they do, because as these patches or holes, if you want to call that, or call them, um, are detected, then they patch them and fix it, and that's why you have to keep your WordPress updated. But the first thing that you can do from an end-user standpoint is, one, don't use the username admin if you have change it. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to change it because it's not um, as hard as you may think. Um, unfortunately, you cannot change it in WP Admin because that's another security thing. Um, so I'm going to show you how to do that. And also, you know, it's important to note as well, if you're using the Softaculous app installer, it defaults to admin pass when you install WordPress. And I'm going to work with them on, on changing that, at least on Name Heroes in, because that's a, just, it's just an extremely bad idea. You want to use a username with a combination of letters and numbers, or at least a letter and a number, and again, something that's not just easy to guess. So you want to use something unique because the attackers, there's so many WordPress websites out there. If you're not using the username admin, then they'll move along to the next one. So you know, if they can't get in with that, then they're just going to simply move along. So let me show you how to do that. Let's um, go to my um, WordPress admin here. So I'm demoing right now with the... Um, the the website keydiets.com and so I'm just going to slash WP dash admin and I'm gonna log in. So again I've got my admin and my pass just really weak. Click log in and now I am in. Okay so if we go to users and go to your profile you can see the username admin cannot be changed. And you can see usernames cannot be changed. If you go to all users, if you have more than one, you can see that as well. You know, you cannot change the username inside of this interface. So WordPress has done that because if someone does get in your, your WP admin, they can't just go changing it, um, you know, without a little bit more trouble. So to change this, we actually have to do it inside of the database. And if you're not experienced at coding or technical, no worries. We make it extremely easy. So let me show you um, how to get to that. So, of course, if you're working with us here at Name Hero, you just want to navigate to your client area because you're going to want to access cPanel to whatever domain you're wanting to change. So right now I'm demoing on a plus cloud package for keydiets.com. If I was on a reseller, I'd have to you know, actually get into my web host manager and then my cPanel. But since I'm using our basic hosting, I've got to log into cPanel right here. So you can see under actions, log into cPanel. And that's going to take me right to it. So in short, you just have to get into your cPanel. And even if you're not hosting with us at Name Hero, get to get inside your cPanel and then you can do this. Okay, so once we're in here, we need to look for a tool called PHP MyAdmin. It's a PHP-based administration for your database. So we just type in PHP and it comes up really quick under databases. So we'll click PHP MyAdmin. And now we need to select our WordPress database. Now, my website here, Key Diets, it only has one database attached to it. If you have more than one, you need to figure out what it's called for WordPress. And so if you have a lot, it can sometimes be challenging. So if you've, while you're in cPanel, you can go to File Manager. 
and go to your wherever WordPress is. In my case, it's in public HTML. And you can find your database name right inside this wp-config.php. You just click on edit and you'll see it inside of there. So if you have lots of databases, that's how you figure it out for the WordPress you're trying to work on. So we'll go back over here. And again, I just have one, so I'm going to click it. Okay, now this brings up like a big table of all the data that's inside of your WordPress. But don't worry, I know it looks a little bit um, complicated and like a lot, but we just need to find users. So you can see here, this prefix here, this is just called a database prefix or database table prefix, and this is unique for everyone. It depends on how you installed it. But we're looking for whatever, where the users is. So it could, yours could be whatever, underscore, but we're just looking for users and we wanna click on browse. Okay, when we do that, we can see all of the users for WordPress. So in my example, I just have one user, and you know we confirm that by clicking on all users here, and we just see one. So I've got admin. So I'm going to click on edit, and I want to change that. So right here is where I'm going to type in my change. And again, you should never, ever use admin. If you do this, <laughs> you're almost just asking for it. So please don't, and if you have, follow this tutorial so we can get that change. Now, when you're choosing a good username, you want to think of something that um, you know, you're going to know, but really no one else is going to know. Now, you cannot use special characters here. So I like to just use something like, we can use R gray one. Um, you know, that's, it's not extremely tight, but then again, most attackers are not going to know your, you know, first initial last name, um, you know, and put it, put a number, you know, put the year after it, you know, R-Gray 18 or 2018 or, you know, 2019, um, but just something more secure than admin, something that's not easy to guess. So once you do that change, just click go. All right. Now, if we go back to WordPress in our admin area, if we refresh it, you can you can see it logs us out because it's detected the change. So now, when we log in, we're going to use our new um, username, and we're going to use the same password and click log in. And now I'm in. So now you can see instead of admin, we have R Gray One, and. Um, now, another thing I want to challenge you to is while you're doing this, if your password is not really secure, change it now. And by secure, I want to show you. Under new, on account management, you'll see new password. Click generate password. If your password doesn't look something like this, it's not secure. Um, you know, you need, it needs to be completely random and it needs to use, you know, number, um, special characters, uppercase and lowercase, because again, if someone wants to get in and you're using, say, if I was using my name, Ryan, and I was using admin and Ryan, you know, that's a very weak login. Um, you know, this is the first defense, you know, we can do so many things at name hero to secure your website. And we do that, you know, we do nightly malware scans. We have all these, um, firewalls set up and we have all these proactive approaches that we take web application firewalls walls and all this stuff but really the first defense starts by a secure password and a good username not admin so our gray one we've changed that so um, we're just going to generate a strong one we copy it here and click update profile and now it's updated so now when i log in i'm going to use that really strong um, password that I just showed you. Um, and if we go down here, you can also see sessions. It's a good idea to maybe log out of everywhere else once you do this, you know, just in case. That makes sure that just this browser is logged in. If you're on, um, you know, your phone or on another computer, or maybe you logged in a public computer, it logs everyone out and just kind of clears that session. Um, now, if you say, well, Ryan, that's great, but I don't want to have to remember this. Like, how in the world am I going to remember that? Well, that's why you want to use a password manager. Um, I'm a big fan of LastPass. You can go to lastpass.com. I think they've got a free application. I, I pay for their business version because it's, it's got a little more features. Um, but that allows you to store all your passwords for each website. Um, and, and that way you're not using the same password over and over and over again because it's very insecure if you do that. Um, you know, if you use the same password and then let's say maybe you're using the password for Amazon and use that same Amazon user and password on all your sites. Well, let's just say, and I'm, and I'm not saying they have, but let's say Amazon's data gets hacked or leaked and maybe they don't have their passwords encrypted like they should and the attackers get that. Well, then they have your username and password. They can go try other sites with it. So you want to make sure your WordPress password, especially your admin password, is unique to just your WordPress um, and it's very strong. And that's why they have it to generate in here and it shows us it's strong. You know, if I was to enter pass, it says very weak. You know, you do not want a very weak one because that's just really asking for it. So, you know, use the generator, make sure your password's strong, make sure your username is not admin, you know, use something again, strong, your name, maybe some uppercase in here, some, some numbers. You cannot use special characters though. If you do that, it will mess stuff up.
But that's how it's done. Um, again, it's all just changed right there in the database, and it reflects into WordPress. And it's probably the um, you know one of the best things you can do. And it's probably you know you might want to change that username frequently. You know, maybe every three or four months, every six months at least, change it up a little bit just to add some more security. Because you know, if the ta most attackers and hackers, you know, they're lazy. They just want to get in to carry out whatever they've got to carry out. It's nothing against you personally, or nothing against your site most of the time. Um, you know, so just you can deter them by just changing these options and, and keeping these in a secure, safe place, and of course not sharing them. So let us know if you have any questions on that. Just by doing those little tricks there, you will keep your WordPress admin area safe and secure, and your website safe and secure from attackers. So thanks so much for watching and using us here at namehero.com.